Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're looking at where Xur is and what he's got for us. But first, I don't have the Trials info today, because Bungie. But the new Raid Lair, Spire of Stars, is live, so if you're into that, have fun. Alrighty then. Xur. Xur is on Nessus, in Watcher's Grave, in a tree, as usual. If you don't, if you need help finding him, select his icon on the map to track him, or just follow my path. On a side note, check out my new ship for my hunter. Got it in an engram from Tess. I think it's pretty sweet. I'm liking it. Anyways, here we go. Okay, the faded engram at the top. If you don't know, you can use 97 legendary shards to buy one. It promises you an exotic you don't already have. But if you do have every exotic, you'll end up with a dupe that you could have bought at the tower for just 10 shards at any vault location. But new exotics are available, so let's see what I get. Oh, sealed Ahamkara grasps. Well, let's let's take a peek. Well, it looks like its primary perk is Nightmare Fuel. Dealing melee damage reloads your currently equipped weapon. Now, wouldn't that be fun or scary if you're in the Crucible and you run around with a sword or power, other power weapon, punching people and getting full ammo with every punch? Probably doesn't work that way, but we shall see. All right, moving on to Xur's primary inventory. We have Knucklehead Radar, and its primary perk is that it lets your let you have radar while aiming your weapon, except in competitive modes, as I understand it. I don't play competitive, but there you go. If you don't have it, you might want to get it because. It, it comes in handy. I, I never use it, but I know people people who do, and, and if that's your thing, go, go for it. Up next, the Trace Rifle Prometheus Lens. Its primary perk, Prismatic Inferno, fires a slow solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. And then it has... Uh, the baby perks. Again, I don't use this, and I probably should. I don't know why. I just... I use the same things all the time. I, I really need to experience new things. All right, for the Warlock, we have Vesper of Radius. I think we just had this a week or two ago, or last week even. It's primary perk, Planetary Torrent. Rifts release an arc shock wave when cast. Rift energy recharges faster when you are surrounded by enemies. I don't ever use it, but it comes in handy. There's a lot of times when you're you got a lot of enemies and you need this. Then we have a new a new exotic for the Titan, Ashen Wake. And its primary perk. Bring the heat. Fusion gr grenades now explode on impact and gain increased throw speed. Well, I, I don't ever use fusion grenades, so uh, that's, that's going to have to be a pass on this one. But if you're into using fusion grenades on your Titan, uh, there you go. I would get that. The Three of Coins. I've been using these, and I'm not getting anything with them. The first day I ran two, going on for eight hours. Zero exotics. Yesterday I think I got one exotic to drop in over eight hours. So I don't know. 
kind of scary. I'm just imagining how bad they, how bad the exotic drop rate would be if I wasn't using them. And then we have the new Five of Swords. Basically, this allows you, while doing the Prestige Nightfalls, if you ever do those, to add more modifiers. Personally, I think it's all kind of ridiculous. And I don't really bother with it. But here's a look at the old one. This is the rare version of the challenge card, and the one you get from Zer is the legendary. More options, but really, I don't understand it. You, you have more options, but most of the options are to make it harder for you. There's like two or three pro perks you can add, and then the rest is all... Uh, stuff to make you feel weaker and insuperior or inferior i don't get it but bungee anyways so that's this week at zur and remember if you like this video maybe hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if we could get 1187 likes in this video that'd be great but most of all thanks for watching